Hey everyone, I'm Travis. You may know me as Volibar Online. Since we initially revealed Project V, the whole team here at Vela has loved interacting with the community. What we also love even more is hearing about your ideas, your feedback, and just your general passion for what we're doing. It's really inspiring. Now, some of you have actually played an early version of the game, and that's a small number, and we promise to increase that number soon. But for today, I actually wanted to take a look back at all the sneak peeks we've posted and hear from some of the Vela team about how you've actually inspired change during the course of development of Project V. My name is John DeShazer. I am the design director of Project V here at Vela Games, and I'm here with Ivan Garde, I am the senior system, senior system designer here at Vela. One of the most enjoyable stories about this is uh, the character Billy that we've had <laughs> in, in our game for a long time. Billy was this character that we, we put in and it, when players would, would happen upon this creature, it would run away from you. And you would smack this creature a lot and have gold pour out of it and then eventually you would slaughter this, this poor Billy. Um, and the, the thing that, the interesting reaction we got out of this was Bo Billy kind of became his beloved character. Yeah, everybody loved Billy, like there was a whole cult around him. And like, actually the name, the name came from the community itself, like there was this little purple round creature and everybody was like, oh, that's Billy. And so all of a sudden we we're like, we don't want to kill Billy all the time anymore. It's like this beloved creature and we don't want this creature to get slaughtered game in and game out. It felt really wrong with smacking Billy once you gave him a name. And so uh, we actually ended up saving Billy for something a little more uh, special, which hopefully we can uh, show you at some point soon. I mean, one of the things we wanted to do today is just send out a really big thank you to the community. We've had a really great response and great interaction, and we've gotten so much amazing feedback based off of pictures we've shown, information we've shared, and anyone who's had the opportunity to play our game in one of our tests. It's so energizing. It's so good to like read all your messages and interact with you in Discord. I just, I just love it. Lisa Nuon George, co-founder. Astri, lead 2D character designer. One of the things our team has really been focused on since we started working on Project V is creating a roster of lots of different types of heroes. Heroes are the star of Project V, and we strive to create characters that are both cool and interesting thematically, in addition to just being really fun to play. One of the heroes the team was really excited to make was a nature-inspired healer support character. So when we started thinking about this character, the only thing we really knew was that it was going to be a spellcaster support casting spells that would heal over time. We thought this was a good opportunity for a magical, nature-inspired character, some sort of druid or forest dweller. The challenge was going to be how to make a character type as classic as a druid feel original and fresh. To discover the best possible ideas for a character, we always try to concept in a lot of different directions. For this one, we explored everything from ancient, nature-infused robots to mysterious, animal-like hermits. Eventually, we landed on this cutesy, spirit-of-the-forest type look, keeping some more traditional druid elements of leaves and wood, but mixing it with a more non-traditional silhouette, a gigantic lantern, and a mysterious kind of anime-inspired mask. We ended up with some strong ideas for where we could take this hero, and as we always want to get as much feedback as we can, we decided it was a great opportunity for co-creation. We asked the community for your thoughts on which way we should take him, and this feedback directly informed the direction for this character. Spirit actually ended up being one of our favorite heroes internally, and we can't wait to show you the final design that you helped create. Hi, I'm Brian Kaiser. I head up narrative at Vela Games. One of our goals with this universe is to bring a fantastic new world to life and to bring players to places they'll want to come back to again and again. We loved revealing the jungle biome to the community. It was so fun to feel that response from all of you and to read through all your theories on who or what might live in the jungle, even getting your help to find the right color palette. It was all truly impactful. Your reactions and ideas have helped shape our world. Since day one, Vela's always been about making something that you, our community, actually wants to play. And it's been a journey since we first revealed Project V, and now as we get ready to take the next big step, we really hope that we continue to get to talk to you, hear your ideas, and most of all, be inspired by your passion. So, from everybody here at Vela, thank you again.